shooting. I'm going to try to get around behind him. Shooting Yank. The other one went this way. Keep him back from the edge. I'm going up. Jim? Yeah. Well, sure no way to get up that cliff now. Someone's mighty anxious to keep us from getting to Haunted Harbor. We'll get there, one way or the other. There's something about all this I can't fathom. You were attacked our first night on the island. The native chief's son was attacked on his way to confer with us about the copra situation. Yeah, it looks as though someone doesn't want me to get the copra business going. Perhaps a rival trading company has men working undercover. Mm, well, that's possible. That doesn't explain the mysterious terror of Haunted Harbor, or why someone's so determined to keep me from reaching there. Then that means you'll be in danger every time you try to reach the harbor. I suppose so. But I've got a job to do, and I can't let Galbraith down. What for him, I'd have been hanged for a murder I didn't commit. Have you found any trace of the man, Carter, who did the killing? No, and I haven't any idea what he looks like. I am convinced he's somewhere on this island. Well, I've got to get out to Point Neptune and overhaul that company motorboat before we make the trip to Haunted Harbor. Uh, would you care to come along? No, thanks. I'm going to pick up some medicine supplies from the store and take them out to the native village. It might sort of help along our good neighbor policy. <laughs> well, we need some good neighbors. Seem to have plenty of bad ones on this island. It's unfortunate the fall didn't kill Marsden. Well, anyhow, we stopped him from getting through to Haunted Harbor. Marsden won't give up. He's probably making other plans right now. The sooner we can find out what those plans are, the sooner we can spike them. I think I'll have a little talk with Marsden and see what information I can pick up. I expected to find Captain Marsden here. I see. My name is Kane. I operate a gold mine on the island. Oh, yes. I've heard Captain Marsden speak of you. I'm sorry he isn't here. My name is Hardy. Dr. Harding? Yes. I've heard many fine things about your medical work among the natives here and on other islands. Thank you. I've had a very interesting life traveling about, meeting people. Have you ever been in a moor? Not recently, Doctor. Why? Your face is very familiar. I have a feeling that you've been one of my patients somewhere. Oh, I'm afraid you must be mistaken, Doctor. I'd have remembered you had we met. Could it have been Singapore? No. Ceylon? No. Shanghai? No, I've never been in any of those places. 
Well, I must be going, Doctor. I'll see Marsden some other time. So I'll tell the captain that you were here. If you will, please. casebook and identified you as Carter, a wounded convict he treated in Shanghai. So that's where he saw me. Are you the only one he's talked to? Yes. Marsden and his pals are at Point Neptune. The girl has gone to the native village. Hardy wants me to drive after We've her. We've got to silence him. That won't be hard. I he mustn't be around here when it happens. Go to the native village and give the girl her father's message. Tell her about Carter? Certainly not. Just say that he phoned for her to return at once. Meantime, I'll radio Greg and have him take care of the doctor before she gets back here. I get it. It's unfortunate that you walked in on this. You'll have to come along with me in case I run into any trouble. You're driving me to Dark Canyon. Get out that door. Dark Canyon. I saw Carter. He is. headquarters. Greg, calling X2. Calling X2. Come in, Greg. I took care of everything, but the Harding girl returned before I could get away, so I had to bring her to the cabin. You'll have to get rid of her. We can't turn her loose. Of course not. I said get rid of her. All right. Put your hands up. Both of you. Get over there.
up for it. We can't overtake them. We'll block the road below. Give me a hand. 